What's going on guys? Steve from Cool Nerd Show here and right before I get started with this air review I just want to let you guys know that if you are into all of the DC TV shows or into comic books and science fiction and all that type of stuff all the nerdy stuff head on over to our channel and subscribe because we do a lot of videos on DC TV on comic books on Marvel on movies sci-fi everything like that so head on over there subscribe it would mean a lot to us. Now, that being said, let's get right into my review of Arrow Season 5, Episode 15, entitled Fighting Fire with Fire. So, touche, Arrow, you had me fooled. I thought for sure that Adrian Chase was Vigilante. That is who he is in the comics. And usually these shows are pretty good with sticking true to the comics. We are updating our theory for who is Vigilante. That will be out soon. And I am going to tell you it's probably going to be connected to... Prometheus. We could be getting something similar like the Jay Garrick thing that we had in season two of Flash. But anyway, enough of that. This episode was really good. A lot of things happened. The number one thing being that Prometheus was unmasked as Adrian Chase. Now, in the main story arc for the episode, Oliver is facing impeachment and Vigilante is coming after Oliver to make him pay for his crimes against the city. Now, some other storylines we got, we got a little bit of Felicity going back to her hacktivist group um, and we don't really know too much of where that's going or what's going on with that just yet. Susan Williams gets her job back thanks to Felicity and then we also had Thea who Thea is actually really starting to think like a politician. She's really becoming very good at politics um, making the political play but she quits in the end. She could come back. Um, she hasn't really had that big of an impact this season. Uh, so I don't know look for her to maybe have just kind of small roles throughout the rest of the season So let's just get into what everyone's waiting for and that's the whole vigilante Prometheus thing I thought that the, the whole episode was actually a very very good episode because a lot was revealed and a lot happened Now the one thing I didn't like about the episode was the part where Diggle Wild Dog and Mr. Terrific are going to take out vigilante and through the science magic that Mr. Terrific makes this tracking device they defeat vigilante and he takes basically a bomb to the face because it just goes right into his face, blows up, incapacitates him. And then what? They just leave him there like they, they, they didn't take him in or anything. They just left him there. You, we didn't find out who he is. Um, the, that was the one thing I didn't get and I hated about this episode. He just takes this bomb to the face. They beat him and then they just leave. And we still have no idea who he is. Now, I think that we should find out who Vigilante is by the end of the season, but he's also not a very big character. He's only appeared in a couple episodes, so they may even just not even go back to this. They might just leave it as it is, and we'll just never find out who it is, and that's it. Um, I hope they don't do that, but that's something that could happen. Now, in the end, Oliver doesn't get impeached because he throws the green arrow under the bus. Now, another thing that most people are forgetting, Star City was accusing Oliver of being the green arrow, two years ago and no one can put this together no one can put this together that all of this is revolving around oliver queen and 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 the green arrow and they're all kind of connected and there's rumors again of him being the green arrow but no roy took the fall for him back in what season three and he was apparently killed although the, his death was fake and that's it and and everyone's like oh well i guess that's it no one's bringing up the fact that Oliver was rumored to be the Green Arrow a couple years ago, and the Green Arrow is still active, but now he's this new vigilante that, that renamed himself from the Arrow to the Green Arrow. I still think this season is very good. It just doesn't make sense and fit when you're trying to think of it as it being realistic. Um, so that's another thing I didn't like, but overall I thought the episode was good. If you can push that stuff aside, the episode had a lot going on for it. Um, I'd give the episode like an eight. And I'm interested to see where they take it from here. Oliver doesn't get impeached, so he's still the mayor. But now it looks like the crime team's going to... Oliver's going to have to be hunting down himself. So we have a lot going on. Um, it, it's getting into this jumbled mess, and I hope that the writers can provide us with good story. They haven't failed us yet, really, um, this season. So hopefully we get into the main story arc with Prometheus. That's what it looks like is going to happen next week. Um, one other thing, did you notice the set when Mr. Terrific was meeting Paul and Paul divorced him? Yep, I noticed it. That's Jitters from The Flash. They just dressed it up as a fancy restaurant. If you don't believe me, go back and watch the episode. They took the Jitters set and dressed it up. Anyway, 
that's my review. I thought the episode was good, but some things I, I did have some gripes with. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you do, why? If you agree with me, why? Sound off in the comments below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, if you like all of the DC shows, if you like Arrow, if you like my reviews, please head on over to our channel, Cool Nerd Show, and subscribe. Check out all of our other videos and theories over there, and hopefully I will see you on all of our other segments.